Well, hello everyone, Dylan of Dylan Days here with another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2022 review, and this one is on BD1, of course, and also our, in this which our first one for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, the game, of course, yeah. <coughs> so on the front of the box here you have the LEGO and Star Wars logos, and that same kind of border design that we've seen since the beginning of the year, but with this which is a darkish gray kind of coloring thing and also instead of having mini figs in the corner instead it's just the Jedi Fallen Order logo kind of interesting how that is well could we see that on others in the future possibly but but also to note that this which is a semi darkish gray but ambush on ferrix of this wave will have a lighter gray kind or also has that just something just to mention but yeah and then See, nice picture of BD-1 in a nice position, and, and also the one minifig version of him in the corner, and recommended ages is 14 and up, set number 75335, has 1,062 pieces. <clears throat> okay. And so now on the back you see yeah, the one in another position and also the height that he's measured at 5.2 inches or 31 centimeters and then also Disney logo and the two and all the features of it of him and yeah. And on to the instruction manual of which same picture as on the or I mean, different picture than on from the of the box, but just kind of this silhouette picture that they've been doing lately. First page up shows how that they're transitioning to paper bags. And then on the back, how it went on the online survey. <clears throat> All the pieces that come with the set. which is three pages and also out of all the sets of this summer wave of course and expect reviews on these two quite soon or whenever I can get those but yeah and then the last build steps First, of which, first thought is a BD1 minifigure version himself. Well, he was kind of the same piece as the other BD figure that we've had with the N1 Starfighter from the Book of Boba Fett earlier in this summer wave. But the only thing that is different is that it has that he has red printings rather than like blue. And of course, well suiting to him. And of course, just like that others is, that other one has set on a single stud piece and also a single stud in the back part. And so you can attach different things onto him. And also what I forgot to mention in my review of the N1 Starfighter earlier is the size difference, I guess, as compared to BB-8 and DO, which, as you see, pretty much the same size as DO, but a little less going on. For that, and and of course the backside stud kind of the same, but yeah. And that's it with our BD-1 mini thing. And also, do you get the like of UCS collectible or display stand, of course, which built kind of the same as like Grogu's and slash the Child's and the uh, Dio's kinds, and with with the ratcheted hinges instead of the like swivel kind of hinges, and and of course a few plates in the jumper for him minifigure version of course.
And if you are to read it, pause the video right now. And also there is that uh, blue uh, silhouette of him there, of course, like they've always done with UCS sets. And on the back, nothing for that. And of course, curved slopes to give it, uh, make it, give it an extra stand, obviously. And yeah. So now on to BD1 himself. So as you can see, a which quite large and quite cool of a set. I see nice greebling going on and also which I'll go over in a bit, but also as this for our first uh, Jedi Fallen Order uh, set, which and of course this does open possibilities for some others like what we what we are all hoping for is uh, the stinger mantis and whatnot, and and of course if you the history of Lego and Star Wars video games kind of brief, like we did have one for Rogue Squadron and the few or I mean the Rogue Shadow from the Force Unleashed and also we did have a few from Old Republic and just a few simple battle packs from Battlefront and whatnot. But yeah, and Finally, one for a Jedi Fallen Order, of course, but yeah. And so now, on to various bits of which. Starting out with the feet, as you see, which do well capture, which is quite well captured his appearance from the game. Of course, well, all of this figure quite does. Like, as you see, it does have some good snot technique for a toe-like bit of it. And of course, good cheese slope there, and and of course, does have a few the technic plates kind of wedged into that just to get it to work. But yeah, and also do have the astromech droid heads, but in plain white on the sides, which is really nicely done. But as for in the back part, as you see, it does have a couple of technic bits, and with a candle stick piece, but in silver which very nice good for mocking and also those little flat bits of which they just flap around and of course they do help it stand up quite well and as for the middle and upper legs of which you see which good great snot going on like have the 2x6 plate going on and also plenty of good tiling are going on there and of course other slope going on and also curved bricks down below of course and on the inside in his legs are the classic whip pieces in both black and gold obviously representing the wiring on him and as for his uh, upper legs which as you can see does have some nice some good greebling right here with those newer technic bar pieces of course and also nice use of this with the cylinder piece uh, on whatnot and for the upper part which is does have those like smaller uh, curved slopes like we saw in last year's slave one set of course and some more of the obviously and as for the cut articulation used there with the like newer ratcheted joints that do go in and outwards and also a couple others that go make it turn sideways so at least do get a good bit of posability out of it and as for the center body section also with good snot and techniques with a lot of tiling and Nice, good use of these two pieces in this lower area. And also a little bit more with the cheap slopes so there, are, and, and of course regular jagged slopes oops, all around here. And on the back part of which, which does have those grill pieces used for like, probably back and back. Oops. Uh, hang on. There we go. And 
Anyways, let's see. I do have those like little technic beam like kind of pieces where it's just one hole. And then on top of that is those like curved plate or curved plates with those like studs on top of them and also this kind of piece which aligns quite well with the jagged slopes on there of course and of course and also a couple more uh, uh, grill pieces there again as greebling and now on to the head part of which uh, which also looks just about close to his in-game appearance. It's, as you see, like quite asymmetric with the eyes, obviously, and but it's fine for that. Like nice use of one of those like newer uh, cylinder pieces in red. Nice to see there, and also other eye done quite goodly. And whereas for the like sockets of the eyes underneath, uh, which which are maybe done with a lot of plates and all, which done very wellly, and of course the flaps on the sides of which are quite good for as they are, and top part of the head, which does have plenty of tiling going on and a lot of exposed studs. Although I think they could have been tiled up. And as for the side part of the head, this side of which which is quite tiled up with the curved slopes there and also just a single red stud on there of course and also one of those uh, newish cylinder pieces in white nice to see for mocking and when they do swivel up and down and do have the classic antenna pieces used as actual antennas of course and whereas for the other side of it oh it's Kind of the, the same, but just instead of a red indicator light uh, kind of detail, is instead it's just those corner plates in different colors, obviously. And whereas the interesting thing with this one is where you can like slip it on out, and then there's what's probably his battery pack or power source, which kind of hard to get out. Well, unless if you just them upside down like that and as for this which one single one of those odd technic beams to it and as you see a few trans neon yellow cylinders with nice use of those pieces and also hold studs there obviously and of course easy to fit in of course and slide in outwards and as for the back part of the head of which oh okay as you see does have some good uh, tiling with those those white tiles and also the so plenty of these light blue and dark blue translucent uh, flat studs very nice that was also well accurate to him and also we do have plenty of chi slopes on plates and one by one bricks uh, quite good so the shaping of this area also great for that and also one thing is the height of it. so like his price hundred bucks hundred dollars oh it's quite good for one of these which if compared to studio ucs bb8 from like 2017 yeah which, as you can see, oh, which quite taller than him. And of course, probably because there's just not much to go around with the uh, round sphereness of it. And of course, BBA had just two little features of it, like his thumbs up and his uh, swivel head. Bit, of course, but with BD one here have plenty of articulation and. Also, the battery pack area, obviously. So, kind of on on how uh, you can see a bit of a difference in pricing in like very few years. At least, like 
at least it's still workable, of course, but yeah. So now, on to the final verdict. So, uh, hang on. Oh, wow. So, overall, this, I think, is a, he which a quite great set for what it is. Even though this does open the possibility for some other Jedi Fallen Order sets, like the Stinger Mantis, obviously, and probably some others, but... Well, I did play some of Jedi Fallen Order and do well and enjoy it. And, and as for BD-1 as a set and in his own right, well, he which still great. And the look of it is just perfection. And, and also, as for his height and, for, and also for the movement of which, also great display value and whatnot. Yeah, and also some good play value, and also great sturdiness to that. So I think he is worth getting, of course. And so now, if you're looking to get him for your uh, Star Wars video game collection sets, also definitely pick him up. And if you are playing Jedi Fallen Order or have beaten it and are looking for something to celebrate with, or get something to celebrate it with, well, definitely pick him up. And also. If you're looking to continue your uh, collection of uh, billable, billable character type of sets, also pick them up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.